Hi everyone, so this is video one of the Vex Robotics. This is just aiming to tell you about how you plug the robot in and set it up and what all the different things do. So this is the robot, uh, we call it the Clawbot. There is a different one, we'll mess around with that later. Uh, you've got four motors on it. So we'll have a look underneath. You've got a motor here that moves the left wheels, a motor there that moves the right wheels. You've got a motor here that opens and closes the claw. Okay, by the way, this is known as left motor and right motor under there. This will be known as the claw motor, and this motor moves the whole arm up like that, and that's known as the arm motor. Uh, in addition to that, you've got a whole bunch of sensors that you'll use later on in the programming. Um, you've got under here, a touch sensor. You've got this one here which is known as a touch LED. Uh, it lights up as well, you can program it to display different colours and this is touch sensitive. You don't have to press anything, it just det it touches your, uh, your fingers just through capacitance. You've also got on the back, this guy here is a distance sensor. It uses sound waves to work out how far away things are and on the front you have got this one which is known as a colour sensor and this can tell the robot what colours are in front of it sort of, it's a little bit iffy in practice also buried deep in the depths, you probably can't see it um, just about make it out right in there you'll see it on the real robot, there is a thing called a gyro sensor and what that does, if we ever get onto it, it tells the robot which way it's facing and how many degrees it's moved so, that's the robot um, you need to know the other basic things are how to turn it on, how to put a program on it, and then how to load your program. So I'll show you that in the video quickly. Right, to so turn the robot on, if you look at it, you'll see you've got a little button of a tick, a little button of a cross, and you've got an up and a down button. If you just press the button with a tick on it, it will spring to life and you'll get your little menu. Um, that's pretty much it. To connect it to the computer on this side, you've got a little USB port so you plug your USB cable into that shocking and groundbreaking I know there we go now if you're on school computers if it's the first time the computer's been used you may have to wait for it to install the software first uh, this is my laptop so it's already installed right I know about the software you need to run um, on the computers at school you'll see two versions of the program you want the one that says graphical unless you're feeling like a, a mentalist and you want to do the really hardcore code programming of it. I wouldn't advise that in year eight. Uh, load the graphical one. So anyway, it should look like this uh, when you load it. And once you've made, once you've loaded it, make a new file. And uh, it's a good idea to save that file before you do anything else. So at the moment it's got a stupid name, graphical02. If you save it, as something you'll remember. So I'm just going to call this challenge one. Okay, it says I've already made that, but I'll overwrite that. That's fine. Right, on the left are all of your program commands. These are all the things that make the robot do different things. Uh, we'll learn about them more in different lessons, but for the first lesson, you're going to be working on backwards and forwards. Whatever command you want, you just drag it out. Now I'm not going to show you how to do the challenge, I'm just going to make a simple program that makes the robot drive forward. I'm going to put in the number 2, this will make it drive forward 2 rotations at a speed of 50% of maximum power. If you were to type 100, that will go full power. If I do 75 and leave it like that, that will be 3 quarters power. That's the program. To get it on the robot is dead easy. Make sure your cable's plugged in, and then all you do is click the download robot button. We'll get that little window up here, it'll download, now that's good to go. Now if you were to click start now, that program would run, um, and just to show you, the robot will move, the problem is the cable's plugged in if you do it this way, so if I press start, it'll just jump to life on its own, one, two, rotations. Easy. Um, however, you can do it hands free, so once you've downloaded your program, that's on there, you can unplug the cable, I'll just try and zoom in on the menu here, and this is going to be, there we go, right, 
what you can do using the X, this is really annoying because there's this beam in the way, um, using the X and tick buttons, X and tick, you can go back a menu, you'll be able to see what I mean, uh, you can choose menus with all the up and down buttons, so you go to auto programs, press the tick to select, okay, and then you find the program that you want, so ours was called challenge one, and then when you're ready to run it, you press the tick again. So I'm going to put it on the floor this time. So now we're operating completely cable free. Press the tick. This is very hard to film and do it at the same time. And my program will run. Now because that's all my program does, it's not very impressive. If I press the tick, it will just run it again. Okay, but that's the basics of getting a program on there. You can overwrite this as many times as you want. Do it as many times as you like, download a new program. You can even have multiple programs saved on it. Uh, the last thing you need to know is how to turn the robots off. So you do that by pressing and holding the, so I have to keep focusing, the X button, okay, which is this one here. If you press and hold it, you'll see the screen. Any minute now, just trying to get it into focus. There we go. The screen does time remaining and then turns off. That's about all you need to know for video one. So now you've got to go do your worksheet, which is tell me what job everything on here does, tell me how to turn it on, tell me how to turn it off, tell me how to put a program on it. Happy days.